Yo, so what's going on, my people? I'm Henry once again, and I'm here. Today, I'll be driving back to the West. I mean, East Germany. I came with my family so we can all celebrate Christmas at their grandmama's house in the village, and um, it's in the east of Germany. And um, today, I'll be driving back to the West because we live in the West, on the West side, you know. <laughs> and um, I would love to take you along with you guys along with me on this journey and I will be showing you some important and strategic places along the way. I'll be using the A4, then the A7, and then the A44, and then the A40, A40, the A52, and uh, till Dusseldorf. That somebody somewhere will put in something, will tip in a number, and you know, it's a collective thing. I don't think one person will just wake up one day and say, hey, man, I don't want to build a school because I hate my people so much, you know? I, I don't think a minister will say, hey, I hate my people so much. I don't want to renovate the only school in the village. I seriously don't believe that. I, I don't believe a minister will say, uh, no, man, instead of fixing this road, instead make her fix the road, no, I will rather steal the money, go to Europe and buy, buy houses and, uh, you, you know, buy houses that I'm, um, uh, you know that one day the Europeans been wake up and you know they say hey get the hell out of our country and they claim the house they claim the land you know I seriously don't believe that so um please enjoy like share I just want to have fun maybe I'll be talking on some things you know I'll be talking about some things in the car while driving that on the autobahn there are no speed limits we also have rules on the autobahn rule number one the autobahn is always move to the right um, I still talk about nutrition and I'll just be sharing we will just be communicating you know, while I'm driving in my in, in my opinion I think we are over 500 million because there is no way there is no place on this planet you will not find a Nigerian if you go to anywhere on this planet and there is no Nigerian, not one, there is no single Nigerian, and not just being there, you don't. If you go to a place, you don't find a Niger, you don't find a Nigerian doing business successfully. <laughs> Let me repeat that: If you go to anywhere on this planet and you don't find a Nigerian doing business and succeeding in that business get the hell out of that place so i'm um, come along and enjoy the trip the journey with me love you guys wish you guys a merry christmas and i, I hope you had a i hope you have or you had a wonderful christmas and um, i wish you guys a happy new year in advance prosperity joy good health and everything all the things you wish yourself i mean the crack house love peace and prosperity should come your way in jesus name you know in whatever you believe in and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video and um, just like share and subscribe and yeah live healthy
my people, how on a day? Yeah. The journey has been smooth so far till now. <laughs> you know, I'm not in a hurry, like I said, I've been, uh, um, I'm just cruising at 130, yeah, 130 kilometers per hour. Yeah, as you can see, I'm being overtaken by so many small vehicles, by smaller vehicles. Uh, and you know, I know one show up, I know one show body. <laughs> because if I show body, none of them will see my tail light. So I've been just cruising and I'm at the approach the city of Ye, of Jena now. Yeah, after Jena, I could enter the one long tunnel like that. I'll, I'll go, I'll go past that long tunnel. After the, after I don't pass that long tunnel, I go enter Gera. Yeah. So on a day, this Christmas, we don't pass now. How did you guys celebrate Christmas? Then we have a little conversation. Let's have a little conversation. How did you guys celebrate Christmas? But just don't do it every day of the year or every other two days. Just don't do it every other week. Every other weekend, you go out and drink. You go out to eat pepper soup. Go out, you eat chocolate. You drink milk and all that. Yeah, I understand it's Christmas. Everybody, you want to enjoy with your family. But don't take it too extreme, huh? Keep, keep it on the low. Keep it on the low. <laughs> because your health is important. Believe me, keep it on the low. So you can live to see next year's Christmas. You know? So you can live to celebrate Christmas with your family next year in 12 months. So take them easy. Take them easy. Another Christmas they come. Take them easy. Another one they come. They know they end with this one. Another one they come. So take them easy. Don't be saying everything. Now we go to blame Niger government. See, but personally, but personally, me no believe say. Although I know say, although I know say, although I know that there are evil politicians, although I know that there are selfish, greedy politicians, I know, but I know truly believe say, say some politicians will intentionally do things to hurt the people they are supposed to save. I don't believe that. I, I believe say I, I believe say okay I'm um, I'm about to enter the tunnel now so I'm gonna switch the camera to the other you know the front of the camera so you guys can see the tunnel uh, when we're done I'll come back to so we continue uh, the yarn a bit So, I, I don't believe, say, say a politician, say somebody, say a senator or a minister will intentionally do things, pass the pass the policy, yeah, pass the law to hurt the people, the people he is supposed to protect. I, I don't believe that. I I, I believe that uh, corruption is a collective thing. I believe that for corruption to exist in a certain uh, um, um, in a certain department of government that it is a collective effort that somebody somewhere will put in something will tip in a number and you know it's a collective thing i don't think one person will just wake up one day and say hey man i don't want to build a school because i hate my people so much you know i, I don't think a minister will say hey I hate my people so much. I don't want to renovate the only school in the village. I seriously don't believe that. I, I don't believe a minister will say, uh, no, man, instead of fixing this road, instead make a fix the road, no, I will rather steal the money, go to Europe and buy buy houses and, uh, you, you know, buy houses that um, 
uh, you know that one day the Europeans did wake up and you know they say hey get the hell out of our country and they claim the house they claim the land you know I seriously don't believe that I think it's a collective effort I think it's a collective thing I think it is a consensual thing that people come together and you know they plan this and if one person says no I'm not in support of these the, the, the remaining people like say if a hundred people if there is a hundred people in a ministry yeah and there is a contract to, to be given out and I say 70 people 70 out of the hundred people they don't want the contract to be executed properly they don't want the contract to be carried out 70 people 70 out of the 100 people is a majority right then the 30 people who will, will say no this is bad this is corruption this is against our uh, 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 against our ethics against what we stand for against what we believe if 30 people says no 70 people the 70 corrupt bad people will win because 70 is a majority they will vote they will either come up with a strategy they will either come up with a way to kick the 30 people out of to kick the 30 people out of that ministry so i seriously don't believe that a minister who is one person i seriously the same way I will still give kudos to the late Sani, to, to, to the late General Sani Abacha. Don't bite me. I'm a Bibio. I'm not Hausa. I'm not Fulani. But I will still give kudos to the late General Sani Abacha. A minister is one person. A minister wants the job done. But some few, there are evil people. Like I said, there are evil people. Don't get me wrong. There are very bad people. There are people who want, to, you know, their intention is just to steal money. Their intention is only to steal money. They want to steal the money. They want to steal the money. They, they don't want to develop nowhere. They want to steal the money, drive big cars, build huge fancy mansions, travel abroad, so that you, the ordinary man, so that make you the ordin uh, make you the ordinary man, they continue to the worshiper because if there are no poor people to worship him he will not steal the money there if there are no poor people if poor people no day to the press these corrupt people these bad people if a poor man no day to the worship this rich man there will be no rich man that rich man will not steal that money he no could steal the money because he, if he steal the money the money could be useless to him there will be no poor man to praise him. There will be no poor man to hail him. Yeah, Baba, Baba, La, yeah, Baba, this, Baba, that. Oga, eh? Oga, Odogo. There will be no poor people to praise him. So the money will be useless to him. The same way their money. See, any politician who steals money, anybody who is stealing Nigeria's money, let me let you Nigerians into a little secret now. Any Nigerian. Any politician stealing Nigerians' money, Nigeria's money. No, 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 no. Let me say Nigerians' money because the money belongs to Nigerians. Any politician stealing Nigerians' money, taking that money out of Nigeria, investing that money outside of Nigeria, believe me, that person isn't enjoying that money overseas. The only way they can enjoy that money, the only place they can enjoy and enjoy that money and feel like they are wealthy, rich people, is in Nigeria, in Africa. The only place you can live and enjoy your loot is in your home country. I live in Europe. I've driven different... See, I live here, I've got some money, I've gotten some money. I drive some of the fancy cars you would ever dream of. But nobody gives a fuck about that. Pardon my language. Nobody gives a shit about that. Nobody cares. Nobody fucking cares. Do you know why nobody cares? Because one, I'm an African. It's only the only thing some of the things I notice be say the only people where they caught eye. 
like in this motor where I sit on so they drive. The only people who go cut eye if I pass with this moto, if I pass, sit on inside moto, I drive past a, a group of people. The only people who go cut eye could be Daki people, could be Nigerians. Oh, you both don't give a shit. They don't care. Because they don't pass that level of year you they show off. They, no, the only place where Niger people, the only place where Niger politicians go enjoy the loot is in Nigeria. Once they carry that loot, come out for Nigeria, come in based on that shows you how dumb. That shows you how dumb and how misinformed your corrupt politicians, your corrupt people in power are. Because if you uh, come here now, come here now, you will, if you see, come here now, you can see them, they jump train too. But this Oga, Oga, in Nigeria, them be Oga, Abi. Them be, in Nigeria, them be Oga, Abi. Come over here, you will see them jump train. In Nigeria, people like Emeka Ike are superstars, right? But I met Emeka Ike here in Germany, 2004. He is a nobody. When he comes here, he's a fucking nobody. I'm just trying to explain these things to them. Me when I understand, say, these people, what are the hell? I just drive past, uh, I think, uh, I don't pass Gera now. So I think I they go Wyma now. I don't know how I go there. I'm not sure. I go let them know. So, all these people, what are the hell in Nigeria? Make a tell them now. All these people, when them come out for Nigeria, it, it no matter how much them get, even that they may feel it, when them talk, say, he, he get 500 or 590 something bank accounts in Europe, which I don't believe, which I seriously don't believe. For the fact, say, I don't tell you now the reason why I don't believe that bullshit. It, it may feel it, then maybe don't do some things. He may feel it. Maybe don't commit some crime. Fine. But to come read, say, in the operate over him, to the operate. No, that, 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 that's some bullshit. The report supposed to say, say some people in the, the. See, Central Bank of Nigeria is huge. Central Bank of Nigeria is big. It's a big. It's, it's a big governmental palestinian lobby. So he get departments. And they in in each of those departments, workers day or guards them day. So to come put everything on MFL, MFL can never he is not able to control the whole of central bank. It's not possible. How many of your children you feed control? Be honest. How many of your children you feed control? You seriously feed control. You can only control the one you love the most. That's the truth. So but maybe we know the do things, talk things, where it don't make sense. We go paint some, you know, when somebody reads it, when outside as them read it, they go begin look at Nigerians as, you know, as people, as, you know, we are Nigerians, so I'm not condoning, I'm not, you know, I'm not condoning corruption. I don't support corruption. It'd be like, say, son, don't they come out, which is a, a good thing, which is a good thing because I'm sweating already just only talking to you guys and burning energy talking to you guys and burning energy creating the carbon dioxide i'm sweating my armpit is sweat that shows you say anything any where you they do this is the atp now remember the atp we have we have been to talk about they say yourselves they use them they, they, they could they use them they could they produce them for you to be able to do some things that this is the ATP in action. I'm sweating, meaning say I'm burning fuel. So remember, we know they do things where they paint, where they paint that country in a very bad light. They may feel it's our own. May we deal with our own. May we handle our situation our way. May we handle our problems our way. I'm not condoning corruption, but may we deal with see. China, China, they deal with their problems in house. China, they deal with their problems in house. They don't expose it. Even in Europe, even you, do, 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 do you think there is no corruption in Europe? Do, do you think European uh, politicians are not corrupt? 
Do you think American politicians are not corrupt? But they deal with their problems in house. They don't spread it. They, 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 they don't come on social media. They don't print it out for everybody to read. You're painting your house black. You know, when you paint your house rotten, every other person could see your house as a rotten house. Let's keep things real. Let's talk things the way things are supposed to be talked. I mean, then we talk things the way where things are supposed to be talked. You know, say I'm only Nigerian to talk like that, Abi. <laughs> you know, policemen ask a a a a a, a, a tourist for money, which is bad corruption for a policeman for policemen who are supposed to protect a tourist who are supposed to welcome a tourist into your into the country speak good about the country to the tourist so that the tourist when he go back home he could say good things about the country he could encourage other tourists to bring their money come spend in the country but police come begin they ask the tourists for money which is bad bad corruption i condemn that because they paint our police force as as a, uh, 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 as very very corrupt you know they paint our police force in a good light you know they you know but for the nigerian police to dismiss them publicly like that they post them on social media post them in the news they dismiss them publicly i'm trying to understand the mindset why i'm trying to understand why why do they have to strip them of their position of their post of their job publicly on live tv for what what's the agenda what's the plan what do you they plan to get you now what impress the dutch people are you guys trying to impress the tories the oyibos that hey no no i condemn corruption but dismiss the officers do your in-house investigation dismiss if you find the officers guilty which a, 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 a evidence day in fact they are not there's no support they shouldn't be an investigation they shouldn't be any investigation at all because evidence day they were recorded they were captured on video do your in-house investigation dismiss them or call them to order scold them transfer them to somewhere you don't need to dismiss them now that you've dismissed them, what do you expect them to do? What do you want them to do? What do you want to make them go do now? What do you want to make them do now? They are jobless now. With the condition of things, how the situation, how economy there now. Those two are jobless now. What do you be their plan? What do you want to make them do now? Former police officers, oh, they don't get training. They don't train them on how to handle weapons. They don't train them on psychological warfare. They don't train them on how to do some things. So now you, they, they're out of job. Waiting be their plan. Anything they for ground. Anything they on ground for them. I don't talk up. I don't condemn. I see. I, I condemn corruption. I no condone corruption. I don't like when we make police they collect bribe. But if you pay these policemen well no 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 no, no. make i rephrase that <laughs> i know i i i know condone corruption i know like make police they call it bribe but ask yourself why are policemen our policemen collecting bribe nobody to dismiss them be the problem because believe me, you've just you've only dismissed two, and the only reason why you uh, why you why you dismiss the two, the only reason is that there is an evidence. You saw a video. A video went viral. The only reason is that a video is there. There is a video. Now 
now these are the only two the two you've seen the two where you don't see you know fit say nothing what about the ones where there are no videos what about the ones where there are no videos no evidence you've just only managed to dismiss two what about the rest so the question should be why are our policemen why are our police women collecting bribe when they should be when they should be protecting us i mean i mean why man? remember that place i told you guys about the the booking bar the former concentration camp i'm gonna show it to you guys now but i'll just show you guys from the road uh, i've been there before so i will post the video and i will show you guys where i get it it's somewhere there yeah there there is a monument if you can see the monument i don't know because i'm driving but it's somewhere there there is a huge monument representing uh, in honor of the victims so i'm now in weimar i'm using my other phone to record it because i don't want to move that or that this phone the phone the main phone from where it is now yeah yeah so ask yourself waiting make our policemen our policemen who are supposed to protect us waiting make them they collect bribe for road so the man see say that tourist they wear say in see say that tourist been wear a head camera the man, you feel say that man, nobody noticed say that man, say he was being recorded. He knew, he knew that he was being recorded. Because if you see a person wear a camera, you could see saying a camera, this person wears it. So he knew that he was being re recorded. But nevertheless, he still asked that uh, the Dutch woman for money. So the big question should be, why are our policemen why are our Nigerian policemen, women, asking for bribe? Why? If you want to dismiss every policeman, corrupt, dismiss everybody. Because, believe me, the ones where you don't see, plenty past the ones where you see. Take care of these policemen. Policemen shouldn't dress like that to begin with. I live in Germany. I don't see how German policemen they dress. I don't see how German police they behave. Policemen shouldn't dress like that to start with. Some of those policemen, they shoes, they, they, they wear their shoes. Then they wear shoes where people they wear go to church. Policemen not supposed to wear that kind of shoe. I was in Nigeria last year. I saw policemen. I saw soldiers. I even pitied them. I pitied them. I pitied them. Honestly, I saw how with big belly, maybe uh, like say the uniform they wear some of them. It shouldn't be like that. These are the people protecting us. These are our first line of defense. If anything happens, if anything should happen, these are the first our first line of defense. Our police force, our uh, our armed force, our armed force, our military. We should take care of these people instead of blah blah blah, blah the talking and yapping and the, the, the dismissing them. We should take care of these people. We should see how we can improve these people, how we can improve the the, 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 uh, the condition and the situation. You know, the, 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 you know how we can improve their working condition. How we can improve their situation how we can train them retrain them pay them better salary if you pay, see a policeman here in this country will never ask me for bribe i don't know how much their salary is here but i know that a policeman a policewoman will never ask me for bribe here one the discipline the discipline is there there are discipline they are disciplined enough to know that hey this is my job my job is to protect this guy my job is to make sure that this guy isn't a threat to some other people so maybe we should start like um, 
maybe, maybe we should look into um, our policemen, them condition them. Maybe we should improve their condition. Maybe we should pay them better salary. Maybe we should retrain them. Maybe we should equip them. Retrain them. Train them on how to use weapon. When to use that weapon. When not to use that weapon. Because them go go, go they waka they shoot anyhow in the air. Them go they shoot people anyhow. Once you carry gun, give a person where you never train. You give them police you a uniform. You pay them thirty thousand naira a month. You don't give that person power. You don't empower an impoverished poor person. You not train that person well. You not remove that person from poverty. You don't remove that person from the condition, from the condition where, you know, but you carry gun, put for your hand. You give them power. You give them authority to go out there and do things. What do you feel say could happen? What thing you feel say could happen? And some of them are sit on for office, they steal billions. Now, when policemen, when you they pay 100,000, if at all their salary they reach they reach a hundred thousand, a policeman who is receiving okay, let's say a hundred thousand. Let, let's be fair. Let's be fair. A policeman who is receiving a hundred thousand a month with three children, three children, the children them don't grow. Even if them no grow, but let's say them don't grow, them don't go school, them don't start school. In the color the hundred thousand. Him, him himself himself go take care of himself then his wife go follow because you know how we set up in, you know how our settings be for Africa that the man go to take care of the woman Abi. the children plus so he go take care of himself he go take care of the, the, the wife he go to take care of the children he go to buy clothes he go to buy food then he go to pay school uniform give the children tell me is hundred thousand naira enough to cover those things in a month in Nigeria at the level where things be the condition of things in Nigeria now? But we then want so before we begin do things, they judge people, they punish people for things where we say nobody their own wrongdoing. Like I talk, like I talk up, and I will repeat it again. I don't condone corruption. Corruption should be punished. And dealt with severely because if we allow corruption to continue there is no way we can move forward but first we should try we should try to deal with the cause of that corruption we should cut cut you know we should get rid of corruption at the source we should uproot corruption we shouldn't trim corruption we should uproot it Dig it out and burn it, destroy it. There should be no root, no leftover root. Because if there is a leftover, if there is any leftover in the ground, corruption, you know, root feed metamorphose again and grow into a, a new plant. So we should uproot corruption at the source. Now tell me, is 100,000 Naira able to do all those things? Definitely not. Certainly not. But that same policeman, he, he, he go to read like this kind of report about the BFLA and the Central Bank. If a policeman read that kind of report, that these people are stealing billions, not millions. These people don't steal millions of Naira. There is still billions of Naira. These people are stealing hundreds of millions of dollars, euros and pounds. How that policeman no go ask a tourist for bribe on the road, man? Let's be fucking honest. Tell me how that policeman no go ask for bribe on the road, and then you carry and you display the whole thing on TV. You they do small sh 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 shenanigan on TV. You dismiss them on live but TV. You dismiss them on social media, publish on social media for the whole world to see. What the hell is going on? What the hell is wrong with us? What is wrong with us? What is wrong with us for real? 
What the hell is wrong with us? Oga, they steal billions. Oga, they use virus, steal billions. If you not talk, if you talk, nobody could talk. He's not being exposed. Nobody is exposing him on social media, on live TV. Oh God, they steal billions. The billions were supposed to touch the lives of these ordinary policemen. Now, these ordinary policemen could collect bribe, 20 naira bribe, 50 naira bribe, 100 naira bribe, 1,000 naira bribe, and you carry them because a video day and because now Yibo made that video. So you won't impress Oyibo now. So you carry the poor police officers and you dismiss them on live TV to make a little show, to do your little show. Waiting they worry us. I don't enter the city of effort now. So I go start, I go switch the camera to the other side now. Okay. So I'm still on the A4. And this is um, uh, this is the this is effort. I'm approaching the city of effort. Effort, I think, is in Thuringen. I'm not sure. It's, uh, the journey is still has been smooth so far here. Yeah. Uh, it's so uh, it's windy, and uh, thank God it's uh, it's not raining. And um, I haven't encountered any traffic so far. I hope it stays like this and like that till I get to my destination. I'm Henry Crack House and um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the subscription. I wish you guys a very happy new year in advance. I wish you guys a Merry Christmas today being the 25th of December in the year of our Lord 2023. I'm approaching the city of A4 now. Uh, yeah, I'm still on the A4. And um, I'm just having a good time. And uh, yeah, so I, I, I'm, yeah, I, I think we should talk about Nigeria. And talk about how things they be for homeland, you know. So my next topic now could be nutrition. Could be food. It's in the apple, food. My next stop could be food. But before then, uh, just enjoy the highway, just enjoy the, the, my drive, enjoy the way, just enjoy the scenery. Yeah? I go shut up now, Abi. <laughs> I, I go shut up now. Maybe gonna just watch the video. Yeah? facing each other uh, which means I'm in Gota now which means I'm in Gota uh, I'll see
see if I can find a good spot to camp and feed. I'll see if I can find a good spot where I can camp and feed. Where I can park and show you guys. I, 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 uh, uh, I can only see, I can see the top one. <coughs> okay, I will just play and show you guys. Okay, now. So. Let me show you. Let me show you. I will zoom in. Now, that is one. That is one of the castles. So, that is one of the castles there. And the other one is uh, if you can see. See, I'm gonna zoom in. There's another one. You see, they are facing that one is facing this one. There is yet the, another one. The third one, you see, that is one there and two there. Now, the third one is uh, that there. So they are all facing each other. They call them the three classes. These are castles facing each other. Yeah, that is one. That is a uh, two. The second one and the third one. Autobahn and go show you guys one of the castles, yeah? Makes sense, right? Yeah. Let's just have fun. Yeah. I'm not in the hurry. Going home. So I will exit the Autobahn here. That is one of the castles there. Up. It's, in, it's in a village called, uh, I think, one day's living. One day's living. I'm um, exiting the autobahn now. I'm leaving the autobahn now. Here. I'll just go show you guys the castle. Huh? 